locker room, players' final few moments to prepare for the game, and the task ahead. Welcome and good evening. We welcome you to our Monday night broadcast of the NBA here on 2K Sports. Moments away, it'll be the Phoenix Suns going up against the Los Angeles Lakers. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. And a quick look at how the Suns' schedule is shaping up. On Thursday, they'll be playing against James Harden and the Los Angeles Clippers. Then on Saturday, they'll tip off a homestand starting with the Portland Trail Blazers. And that matchup against the Sixers, that one, the seventh on the season for them. The team's still looking to improve each time they take the floor. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. The guard spots filled by Russell and Reeves. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. And it's Reddish in at the small forward. And for the Suns, up front, Durant plays the four with Nurkic at the five. Ring pairing, it's the scoring threats of Beal and Booker. And it's Jones in at the one spot. Well, here we are, Greg, at the very start of the season, and many teams are still figuring things out. And, and Kevin, you, you can't take any of these lineups as final just yet. Coaches might keep trying some new things, tinkering a little bit, and these teams are very much works in progress. Right is the pass to Russell. Good on the bucket. Tremendous balance by Russell. Takes on contact, finishes the play. Uh, we'll see if he can get the and one at the line. Of all the great ball handlers, Clark, in the NBA, Russell's got to be right there at the top of the list. And the thing that impresses me, Kevin, is how smooth he makes it look and how effortless it appears. Even at full speed, he can make moves that most guys can't even imagine. You know, Russell's known for his scoring ability, but I like the fact that he's eager and hungry to continue to improve. Booker outside. Pass to Nurkic. Reeves against Beal. Six to shoot. KD's shot is off. For the Phoenix Suns, they come into this one following a loss to the Mavericks. I'll tell you, they played hard, they drew fouls, but they could not convert at the line. And that can drive guys absolutely crazy. I mean, they know they're better free throw shooters than that, but just did not get it done from the line. And here's Jones following the three-pointer from Cam Reddish. Jones against Russell. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. The Suns shooting their first free throws of this game. And a season ago at the charity stripe, this is a group that shot an impressive 81%. Yeah, they had the kind of success from the line that would make any coach breathe a sigh of relief, guys. And that one falls for Jones. Greg in the process to bring in all their stars. The Suns don't have a lot of ways to add players in the near future. Yeah, they don't control their draft picks for the next few years. That was part of the price for Beal and Durant. They'll have to be very shrewd to add rotation pieces to help them win. And he can't hit the second. And one thing the Lakers are so adept at, Greg, inverting their sets to have different players start the action. Yeah, it takes a high level of basketball IQ to do that on the fly. Makes defending the Lakers a nightmare. You never know how they'll attack you. Now here's Jones after LeBron James's miss. Beal finds Durant. Over Reeves. And that one's good. Durant. That mid-range shot, a go-to one for KD. LA's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Reeves right side. Davis against Nurkic. And it's Davis missing. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. And the three ball is good. 
And this game is tied up now. Fields got such a fluid shooting motion. It really helps him on those catch and shoot opportunities. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Here's Russell. Rebound by the Suns. Booker with it. And it's Reddish picking him up. No good from Booker. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And the wide open shot from Reddish. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Reddish has got his second bucket of the night. Now here's Beal. His last outing, 16 points for him. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Booker a screen on Reeves. Shoots from 12. And it's off the back rim. No good. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, I did speak with Mike Budenholzer for a few minutes. Their plan defensively is to try to make LeBron into a jump shooter. The coach said many teams plan that, but it rarely works out. You have to fully commit to it. Of course, that means LeBron will be getting all of their attention. Guys? Okay, David, thanks. And J.J. Redick is called timeout. He wants to check in with his team and regroup. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. Yeah, I felt like they attacked but with a purpose. They knew what they wanted to accomplish coming in. Well, it really showed the trust they have in one another. I love how they got after it, and you could feel that they were playing for each other. The 2K leaderboard provides us now with this list of last season's assist leaders. Fifth on the list, LeBron James. Very few guys pass the ball better than he did. I mean, he didn't just have eyes in the back of his head. It's almost as if he had them on both sides, too. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Here's Russell. And it's Bradley Beal with the rebound. The Suns have gone 3 of 7 from the field since we've gotten underway. And Booker kicks to Durant. On the wing, Booker, guarded by Reddish. Jones, no one around him. They get it again. And Beal gets it to go. Defense has Beal well covered inside, but he can get aggressive and fights his way through for that shot. Reeves the pass to Davis. And there's the big time jam as he slams it right over Norkic. Davis puts it down with a 40, and his team is just going wild about it. Man, that was impressive. And on the AT&T 5G slam cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Jones with it. 11 points for him in that last game against Dallas. To the inside. Here's Booker. Good. It's Beal picking up the assist. Skillful make inside by Booker. Able to find his spot for the finish. For Los Angeles, they've gone just a shade under 50% from the field. 5 of 11. Now here's James. In the game against Sacramento, very impressive. Reeves against Beal. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That's foul number two for him. I think he has to play more conservative from this point on. I mean, that's two fouls already. Allen's checked in for Tyus Jones. And the Lakers also making a change. Vanderbilt's checked in for Anthony Davis. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Lakers trail by three. Pass to Russell. Now Reddish. He's got seven. 
And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And they also showed up in terms of passing fifth and assists. No doubt they relied on that motion offense, and their player movement was always consistent. And their field goal percentage speaks to what a patient team they were last season. Good shot selection was certainly the key to their system. Greg, they're in a rhythm offensively, really cooking. And the opposition looks helpless to stop them right now. And here's Booker from the arc. Rebound the Lakers. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Russell passes to Vanderbilt. The Lakers moving the ball around. And the call will be against Yusuf Nurkic. That's his first foul. And J.J. Redick is called timeout. This will give him a chance to discuss some potential alterations. And checking out the stats for Allen. He had a strong showing last season. Averaged about 13 points per, four rebounds, and three assists. And every team in the league needs shooting. That's what he brings coming off the pine. Yeah, there's always a demand for shooters, man. Have jumper, will travel. I'm telling you. Most championship teams, they have a bunch of those guys who can put it in the basket. Vanderbilt finds Russell. Here's James. Six on the shot clock. And it's Durant with the rebound. He is zero for his last however many this quarter, guys. Might need to get him out and let him settle down a bit here. Now, here's Reddish. He's got seven. No one near Reeves as he lets it go. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. Zero hesitation from Reeves that time. He never lacks confidence. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. And always hovering around the 50, 40, 90 mark, Kevin Durant is both prolific and Greg efficient. And Kevin, you want to talk about guys in this league who make winning plays time and time again? KD is right at the top of that list. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. LeBron kicks to Vanderbilt. Pass to Reeves. Russell against Allen. For three. Russell, no luck. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Here's Beal. Durant with it over Russell. The shot by KD. No good. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. And, you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide-open look in space there. It's Allen with the drive. Misses in close. And they blow the whistle for a foul. He was trying to disrupt the fast-break opportunity. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Suns. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. One other thing they've done really well, moving the ball around. They've done a nice job not settling for that initial option and making that extra pass. Clark, what is it about Austin Reeves' style of play that makes him such a good scorer? I love the fact that he can change pace with the dribble. You know, he's not super fast, but he's not slow either. What he is is shifty and smart. He's got good size, good ball skills, and he's got a nice mid-range jumper. All of that allows him to keep defenders off balance. And, and offensively, he has been a liability more than he's helped this quarter. Booker's shot is good. And, and there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Lakers trail by five. LeBron passes to Vanderbilt. And here's Russell. Reeves with the screen for Russell. Wants to get it to Reeves and does. And the basket is good. Reeves at 6'5 is kind of sneaky long, and he can more than hold his own inside. Phoenix leading by three. 
Morris outside. Allen finds Morris. A floater. And Booker with the layup. Booker's got eight points. Well, he's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's that hot. Los Angeles is gone. Just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Pass to Vanderbilt. Russell with it. Covered by Morris. Here's James over Durant. And he can't bank that one in. Yeah, they got that one. But early on, it's, it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. And because it's still early, I wouldn't read too much into it. There's still a lot of game left. And with this score of the Suns, you know, Greg, you never know who is going to initiate the offense for them. And that can cause problems at times, Kevin. Can run you into issues keeping the ball moving. Turnovers can be their Achilles heel as well. And that one falls for Allen. So for the Suns, Mason Plumley's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Bol Bol comes in for Kevin Durant. And Bradley Beal subbed in for Morris. And Allen drops them both. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. Here's LeBron. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And LeBron, the only player to reach 40,000 points in his career. Clark, <laughs> you're shaking your head. It's incredible, isn't it? Absolutely remarkable, Kevin. And I did not think I would see it in my lifetime. 40,000 points. Just the sound of that is ridiculous. And, you know, he not only has lived up to the height that has followed him since he was 15 years old, he's actually exceeded it, Kevin, which is crazy. Now over two decades playing in the league, LeBron James continues to play at an amazing level. Remarkable. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldrich. What's the latest, David? Kevin, thanks. Devin Booker is a three-level scoring threat. He said, I'm just reading coverages and taking what the defense gives me. That's a mid-range jumper, which analytically people say isn't the highest percentage shot. But for myself, it's a good one. I've shot it pretty much my whole life. Kevin? And David, doesn't it show? Wow, he is something else. Hey, thank you. There's Vanderbilt after the made shot from Bradley Beal. Five on the clock. Vincent's shot is good. And Phoenix has possession. Six-point game. Pass to Bull. Now here's Beal. Back to Bull. To the middle. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. And here they go. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. And the offense has just operated really smoothly here in the open floor. Yeah, and for them to reduce the lead, they should keep the pace brisk. I mean, that's how they've generated the highest quality shots. And here are the Suns now. After the basket by the Lakers. And Booker kicks to Plumlee. And the rejection by LeBron. It's a part of his game that LeBron takes a lot of pride in. Shot blocking and defending. He's no slouch at that end of the floor. Here's Booker. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. GA, when we think about Devin Booker's scoring ability, he always has been ahead of the curve. The, the youngest player ever to score 70 in a game, amongst the youngest to get to 10,000 points. Booker is on a historic scoring pace. Shot. 
No good on that one. And Clark for the Lakers. Their last two seasons ended in playoff losses to the Denver Nuggets. And I tell you what, they fought hard both times, Kevin. The point differential was only 24 points over the four games in 2023 and just 11 points in 2024. L.A. actually led most of the five-game series but weren't able to advance. Now here's James. Floats it up for James. And stolen by Bull. Suns leading by five. Beal deciding where to go with it. Pass to Booker. Shoots over Hachimura. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Benson with it. Now guarded by Booker. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Over Plumley. Nice shot by James. The mid-range jumper has really been a vital part of LeBron's game in the second half of his career. And so Booker will bring it up for the Suns. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Booker. Just four seconds left to play in the first quarter. Fires from way outside. And so it's Devin Booker making highlights for the Sun. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And from what we've seen, guys, from Phoenix, what do you guys see? Just stretching out the floor in that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. And you know what? That's what happens when you establish your three-point game early. Puts the defense right up against it. Suns leading by three. So at Durant sitting on the bench. This is Mike Budenholzer's lineup. They've got Bradley Beal. Hole is out there with Plumley. Then there's Grayson Allen. And it's Lee in at the small forward position. Yeah, offensively, Beal is a smooth operator. The Lakers shooting 43% from the floor. James is screen on Beal. Pass to Hood, Shafino from outside the arc. Beal pulls it in. Beal's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Bull. And he banks in the layup. And the Suns lead by seven. Not too many can match up with Bull in close. Plumley against LeBron. Vanderbilt, a screen on Plumley takes a three. From range, LeBron is good! Watch out now, when this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Beal, the pass to Bull. They get it back. Outside for Beal. Back to Plumley. Another shot. Good D by LeBron. Lakers trail by four. Over to the wing. Hachimura, the pass to Vanderbilt. LeBron against Beal. LeBron gathering speed. Rocket six. Vincent misses. The Suns have gone two or four shooting the ball here in the second. Here's Lee. Picking up his second foul here. Has to be careful because they can pile up quickly. And Greg, you talk about toughness, the compete factor. How does a team create that culture? Call it critical mass. <laughs> when you have the entire organization and enough players committed to that kind of effort, everyone has to meet that break. level. Take a break. Two shots. Oh, 
First free throw is good. Tyus Jones, he's checked in for the Suns. And so he hits both. And you can never really count out these Los Angeles Lakers, Greg, can you? No, I, I really don't think you can. They, they battle out of the play-in tournament. They overcome obstacles, and they have tremendous willpower. And J.J. Redick is called timeout. He wants to make some adjustments to the game plan, clearly. And they were in the top 10 in blocks. That, that was the core element of their squad, keeping bodies in the paint and preventing those easy buckets. And their field goal percentage speaks to what a patient team they were last season. Good shot selection was certainly the key to their system. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Lakers passing it around. Pass to Vanderbilt. Now Hachimura defended by Jones. Shot clock at six. Here's Vanderbilt. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. It's going to go on Tyus Jones. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. And the first one drops. Vanderbilt hits them both. And here's Jones. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Driving in. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Vanderbilt's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Vincent up top. He's covered by Beal. James against Jones. Pass to Hood, Shafino. He doesn't hit that one. Good D by Lee. Suns leading by four. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Here's Beal. And again, it's the Suns missing. Pope loose. Beal with the steal. Down low. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. That's on LeBron James. And with those sound defensive instincts, Beal is able to disrupt the opponent's offensive game plan. The Suns have shot 75% at the stripe, 6 of 8. And Phoenix making a change here. Booker's checked in. Radish, he's checked in for the Lakers. Russell comes in for Gabe Vincent. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. A shot by LeBron, no good. Yet that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he's shot so poorly. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Now here is Hetchimura. Hasn't made one yet. To the middle. Vanderbilt kicks to James. Back to Vanderbilt. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Boy, still such an outstanding distributor. James takes great joy in finding his teammates in their spots. 
And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. Leading by five. With this stoppage in play, we have a chance now to show you which teams led the league in three-point percentage last year. The Suns' fifth. You know, a solid three-point game can be the cornerstone of an effective offense. I mean, it adds a little pop and punch to what a team is doing offensively. And last year, this team was not made up of just good three-point shooters. They Shoot had two. great three-point shooters. First one falls. And just over 80% from the line right now. A big improvement over what they shot in that first quarter. Donnie's checked in for bowl. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. An elite offensive threat. Booker continues to try and find ways to improve his game. Vanderbilt drains it from beyond the arc. Vanderbilt's got seven now in this quarter. And they're hitting the long-range shots that they were missing in the first quarter, but still have ground to make up. Pass to Plumlee. Vanderbilt against Dunn. Here's Booker. There's the drive. That's in, coming off an assist from Dunn. Booker's got 13. And we see this so often from Booker because he has the green light to take any shot he wants. Here's LeBron. Six points for him. LeBron powering inside. Oh, nice drive there to get to the bucket using some of that terrific agility that he possesses. You know, it's inevitable that a player's physical abilities diminish over the course of a career. But the thing that stands out to me about LeBron James is that he never lost his insatiable drive to win. Guys, if anything, he's gotten stronger. And here is James after the three-pointer from Bradley Beal. Pass to Reddish. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Yeah, and with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. You're having a lot of success from the line here in the second quarter. KD's checked in for the Suns. The Lakers also changing it up. And Anthony Davis is checked in for Vanderbilt. And it's Austin Reeves in for Hachimura. Now here's Jones. Outside Durant. Pass to Booker. Six to shoot. Kicks it out to Jones. Off target from three-point range. Lakers trail by six. James finds Russell. He's looking for James and finds him. Out to Russell from deep. Good, and the assist goes to James. LeBron's got four assists now tonight. Boy, you look at D'Angelo Russell. He's got a sweet stroke. The lefty can knock it down from three, but always seems to be playing at his pace under good control. Now here's Booker, who's last out him with 20 points. Here's Beal, and he uses the glass on the lane. Beal's got seven points here in this quarter. Los Angeles has gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. Here's James. Phoenix grabs the miss. Durant's got his fifth rebound in this one. Feels to me like this team is going to need more from him, guys. I mean, if they're to erase this deficit, he's got to step up. Beal gets a wide open look. Suns keep it alive. But three scores the bucket. He's seven for 11 and continues to look good. You got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter, actually destroying the opponent. Lakers trail by eight. Pass to Reddish. Takes the 13 footer, and there's another one for the Lakers. 
Boy, the former second overall pick has really worked on his passing. That was an outstanding find by Russell. Phoenix has gotten cold from deep in the second quarter. Just two or six from long range. Beal dishes to Durant. Jones with it from downtown. He can't get it to go. You know, when he has the ball outside like that, that's exactly the kind of D they need to play on. Pass to Reddish. Back to Russell. Here's Reddish. That three off the mark. Here's Jones. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. I love watching Reeves do his thing from the mid-range area. He's got a smooth package. Suns leading by four. Now here's Jones. Booker outside. Pass to Durant. Outside, Beal. Just five to shoot. And it's good for two. 19 points for Beal. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Reeves outside. Here's LeBron. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Kevin Durant. Hey, you have to have pity for the defense right there. I mean, LeBron is an absolute load down low. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. In, in last season, he made good on about three out of every four free throw attempts. Uh, and last time I checked, I think that's 75%. And that one misses. And James considered a franchise talent without question. This guy is the complete package. The Suns making a switch here. Allen's checked in. He hits the second from the line. Suns leading by five. Outside, Jones. It's stolen by Reddish. And now Russell pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Finish off the break. Russell's got five points in the quarter. Hey, I can't overstate it. I mean, as a defense in transition, you have to locate Russell before he finds the bottom of the net. You've got to get to him quickly. Jones with it. Outside, KD. Over LeBron. The shot by KD. No good. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. Norkic checked in for the Suns. Beal comes in for Allen. Vanderbilt's checked in for the Lakers. Reeves outside. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got three assists in the game. The Sun shooting 44% from the field in the second. Booker outside. Jones from outside. Hits it from three-point range. And the Suns lead by three. How about dueling from long range, just going at each other? Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. Los Angeles has gone 4-7 on three-point shots in the second quarter. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. 
You got for us, D.A.? Thanks very much, Kevin. And another Kevin, Kevin Durant, is the most decorated member of the Sun Star Trio. KD says, I believe in this team and we believe in one another. I like our chemistry. Not just the three of us, but our whole team. Our coach and staff is doing a great job. I'm not promising anything, but I like our chances against anybody. Kevin, they certainly have the talent. David, indeed they do. Now, here's Durant. After the miss from Cam Reddish. Shot clock at five. A, a physical big. Nurkic embracing, going up and attracting the contact when he's trying to score. This is his first free throw of the game. And, and you know, you'll take what he can give you from the free throw line. Looking at his numbers, just really Shoot not two. one of his strengths. Shooting in the low 60s last season. And we saw it last year, guys, because those numbers were so low. Teams weren't afraid to put him on the line um, where points were hard to come by for him. He misses the free throw. You know, it took Nurkic a while to kind of establish himself as a starting center in the NBA, but it didn't take long to see it's a role he deserves. Hachimura, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And he's good on the second. 137 left now here on the second. Russell passes to Hachimura. Nurkic with the steal. And now the fast break. Durant with the ball. Straight to the bucket. Durant. Boy, how about the outstanding hustle from Durant? I mean, getting out on the break as soon as the ball was headed the other way. The more bodies going up court, the better. A minute 20 left in the first half of basketball. Russell kicks to Hachimura. Back to Russell. The train. And the rebound by Nurkic. Nurkic has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Russell against Jones. Outside Durant. Beyond the arc. Rebounded by the Lakers. Outside, Russell. Reeves against Bia. Here's Hachimura. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Strong take by Hachimura. He is built to do damage in there. The Lakers have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight. 7 for 10. And that one falls for Hachimura. Yeah, you could sum up Rui Hachimura by calling him a pro's pro, a hard worker, and a guy that just continues to add value to his team. Plumley is checked in for Kevin Durant. Hachimura <laughs> hits them both. 32 seconds left to play here in the half. Who's got Booker? Booker looking around. Pass to Beal. And here's Plumlee. Pocket six. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Kevin Booker attacking. And Davis sends it back. His great length really helps AD defensively. Reeves, that's a two-pointer. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. And here's Booker from the arc. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. Bradley Beal, he's been the guy making things happen for Phoenix. He's been a major threat from three-point range. Got two of them to fall in that quarter. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Mike. Stout effort defensively in the first half. What did you do to limit them? I just think our activity on the ball, we got to try and keep it in front of us. Our bigs did a good job, I think, being big in the paint, making things tough there. We got to finish it with the board. Yep, rebounds and possessions, coach. Thanks. Back to you guys. 
All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. All right, let's kick off our first half analysis. Bradley Beal has really stood out. So it's not about how many shots you take. It's about how many you make. And he's mm. been making the most of every opportunity. Yeah, when you got somebody cooking like that, you just sit back and watch the show. All right, now still early on, but let's check out the Western Conference standings. Taking a look at the Suns, they've looked okay early on, but it's going to take a lot of work to get this team to the next tier. Plenty of competition ahead of them and not much room for error. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Bradley Beal having a dominant impact in this game. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. So the Lakers five right now. The guard spots filled by Russell and Reeves. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. And it's Reddish in at the three spot. The shot by Beal, no good. The Lakers trail. Here's Russell. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got five assists tonight. Inside, Russell definitely has the touch. Just pops it in nicely. Here's Booker. Strong finish inside from Booker. He's one of the best in the league at that. Even with just a tiny sliver, he always seems to find a way to get it up and in. Lakers shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. Reeves against Beal. And it's Davis at the elbow. Shoots over Nurkic. Gets the bucket and the foul. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. That's their third straight make off an assist. Greg, as you were saying, beyond the blocks, what makes Anthony Davis special on defense is the way he navigates the floor. Kevin, most bigs can get picked on in pick and roll action. Davis, though, too quick and smart to take advantage of. He can slip screens, hedge, switch, and recover like he's a 3 and D wing. What's up? And that drops, so they now lead by one. Well, there's no question, and he welcomes this, that Anthony Davis shoulders a heavy load on the defensive end. And he should, and he does. I mean, he's a true anchor. He protects the rim. He can guard out on the perimeter. He communicates well. He's got an excellent basketball IQ. And he's a guy that can cover up a lot of mistakes from his teammates. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Pass to Davis. Outside, Russell. Now here's LeBron. A fadeaway. Rebound by Nurkic. Nurkic has got eight rebounds in this game. Reeves against Beal. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Austin Reeves picks one up. And the coaches want this from Beal. Play aggressive, force your way to the strike. The Suns have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. Up. 
and he can't get the first one. First and foremost, Bradley Beal is a scorer. He's always working the angles, trying to find his next opening to attack, and it rarely takes him long. Good on the second free throw. 90 seconds now into the second half. Outside, Russell. Davis setting the pick for Russell. And again, the Lakers, no good. Suns lean by three. Durant down low. Working on James. Here's Nurkic. A shot missing. Good D by LeBron. L.A. has gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Here's Russell. Davis. Davis on the follow. Davis has got his third bucket of the night. What determination on the boards. His work ethic really standing out right there. Well done by Davis. Now here's Durant. He's got seven. It's stolen by Davis. Now the Lakers on the break. They get a hand on it. Beal with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. Booker's got it over Russell. Misses off the right iron. The Lakers have gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. That foul gives him four, so he's got to settle down a bit. Mason Plumley's checked in for Kevin Durant. And J.J. Redick is called timeout. Looking for a breather and maybe just one or two things to talk about. And let's check out stats for James. He's coming off an excellent season. And he was also among the top 20 in steals. That ability is more unique than folks realize. Very valuable defensively. And as you said, dishing out dimes at a top five pace. He was in total command of the offense last season. Look for more good things to come. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Looking to get back on track here. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Bradley Beal picks one up. Hey, you want to try to guard LeBron? Good luck. I mean, the king is impossible to stop. Fast, strong, smart, tough, creative. Draws lots of fouls. James drills them both. Phoenix has gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. It's Beal on the wing. Kicks it out to Jones. Shot clock at six. Back to Beal. Shoots the three. And James pulls it down. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Got that one up quick. Reeves has got 15. Always a focal point for this offense. Reeves is on another level tonight. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Booker with it. Defended by Reeves. They've got the five on three advantage. High arcing shot. Here's Davis, and finished off by Davis. Davis, such a terror in the open court. With his size and speed, that's a really lethal combination. Suns trail by six. Booker outside. Pass to Nurkic. It's stolen by Davis. Pass break. The Lakers takes the 13-footer. James all the way to the rack. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end. Tenacious. They're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steals. And I'll tell you, the energy they've shown in the open floor, boy, it has been terrific. Doing a phenomenal job converting in those situations. Now that we have a chance, let's go to the 2K leaderboard and reveal last season's top shot blockers. 
fourth, Anthony Davis. And shot blocking is the element of the game that I think he cares about the most. That's where he puts in that effort and energy. The Suns trailing. Booker, right side. Beal against Reeves. Now here's Plumley. D right on him. To stop the run. Booker going to work inside. That finish brings me back to the old days. The silky smooth finger roll. And the Lakers have possession. Outside Russell. On the wing, Reeves. He's covered by Beal. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That is his first foul of the game. The three from Davis. Nurkic with great size at just about seven feet. Shoot from 14. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Lakers leading by six. Here's Reeves. Phoenix grabs the miss. Plumlee's got his fourth rebound in this one. The drive by Beal. Knocks it loose. Goes back up. Jones kicks to Plumlee. Jones looking for an opening. Just five on the clock. Here's Beal. It's good from about 19 feet. Beal's got six in the quarter. Beal is always a scoring threat, but right now we're seeing what happens when he's in the zone. Davis with a screen on Jones. Got it. Good job in the low post. Russell's got 12 points in the game. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Suns trail by six. Booker outside. Pass to Plumlee. Here's Nurkic. And Davis sends it back. A two-way star, AD, has led the league in shot blocking on multiple occasions. Hachimura, he's checked in for Austin Reeves. Here's Beal. Tries a three off the inbound. Sinks the three-pointer. Beal's got 28. He's really picked up where he left off in the first. And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles. Outside, Russell. Hachimura against Booker. Hachimura, the pass to James. Fires the three. Hachimura, no good. Phoenix has gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. The shot by Beal, no good. Uh-oh. Changed his mind on the way up and tricked himself. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Hachi Moore putting pressure on the defense. That's exactly what they want to get out of. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And for, as for last season, he was a 74% shooter at the line. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. The Suns making a change here. Allen's checked in. Suns trail by four. It's Allen on the win. There's the triple. A rebound by the Lakers. Russell's got four rebounds now tonight. Outside for Davis. Three-pointer. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got assist number seven for him tonight. Yeah, the first half was one to deep six or forget. But in the second half... He's looked a lot better. And timeout is called by Mike Budenholzer. He's ready to talk things through with the team. And checking out some stats for D'Angelo Russell. Good season for him last year. Averaged about 18 points a game last season. Six assists and three rebounds. And really, he sets the table for this team with his playmaking. Unselfish at times to a fault. He just makes everybody around him better. 
Now Phoenix shooting 43% from the field. Beal can't get it to go. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 17-7 run. And the call will go against Grayson Allen. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. And he looks totally out of sorts here at the strike. Those defenders aren't afraid at all to body him up and force him to earn his points at the line. Suns trail by eight. Now Beal. 28 points for him. Booker outside. And Davis sends it back. Russell with it. Now guarded by Nurkic. No one near James as he lets it go. Cans it from downtown. LeBron's got eight points in the quarter. One triple for him in the first half. Now he's hit another. Phoenix has gone two of five with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. Booker outside. Allen outside. Back to Beal. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Davis. Good on that shot. And with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut down now to just nine in the basket from Beal. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. Davis with a screen on Beal. Russell from long range. And Kevin Booker pulls it down. One made three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Two points. That one goes. And you know, defenses try to get physical with Booker. And now he's used to that. He just plays through the contact. Pass to Reddish. Russell sets a screen for Reddish. Back to Russell. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Suns. And a chance here to see the numbers for Davis. Last season, he played outstanding. And he ranked in the top 15 in points per game. One of the league's premier offensive threats. And as you said, a top three rebounder last season. He just seems to know how the shot's going to come off the rim. And he always hustles to get there. Vincent's checked in for Reddish. And Davis sends it back. And here is Hachimura. Pass to Vincent. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. A free throw drops for Vincent. So he gets them both. Here's Beal. 30 points in the game. Allen outside. Pass to Norkic. It's stolen by Davis. Russell against Allen. And D'Angelo Russell with the three. Russell's got the lead up to 12 now for the Lakers. And timeout is called by Mike Budenholzer. He's made the decision he wants to huddle up with this guy. Some changes for Phoenix. Bowl comes in for Yusuf Nurkic. And Lee's subbed in for Devin Booker. Allen passes to Beal. Screen by Bowl. Kicks it out to Allen. Fires for three. Offensive rebound. Second shot opportunity. Can't get the layup. Los Angeles leading by 12. Loads it up for Davis. Rumley with the steal. And it's Bull that time on the assist by Allen. Bull's got his second bucket. I like seeing Bull be aggressive inside and not allowing physical defense to bother his shot. Los Angeles has gone downtown a lot since halftime. They've missed five of their nine attempts out there. Out left to the wing. Lee against Hachimura. Good D by Lee. Boy, he has to put that one away. A solid opportunity. Gone awry. 
Outside Beal. 132 left in the third quarter of the game. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. And the technical free throw is good. We've got 128 left to play in the third. Lee passes to Bull. Six on the shot clock. It's Beal on the wing. No oh, good with the triple. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Davis working in the paint. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. Here's Beal. And he converts the layup. Beal's got 13 points in just this quarter. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Fifty-two seconds left in the third. Here's Hood Shafino. No scoring in this one. And it's Davis with the jam. Good positioning that time from A.D. Working the pick and roll beautifully. 41 seconds left in the third. Now here's Allen. He has six. Beal finds Allen. That's a two from Lee. Lakers with the rebound. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. Uh, we'll see if that's the answer. Five to shoot. Inside, Davis. And Davis throws it down. Boy, I love watching him flush it home, showing how easily he can get off the ground and bang it. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. 13 points up at the end of the period. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us? He's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Hey, that was a high-level pass no matter what position it came from. But it does make it stand out a little more when it's made by the big fella. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. We've got Booker. Allen is out there with Tyus Jones. Then it's Plumley and it's Bull in at the four spot. That's who's out there for Phoenix. And it's James missing. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. Trailing by 13. After this game, they can look forward to L.A. Where they'll match up against the Clippers. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Lakers shooting with confidence, 50% from the field so far. Here's James. Book it off the crossover. LeBron's got the lead up to 13 now for the Lakers. For all his strength and power, James can also be extremely graceful throwing off the defender with a really nice move there. The 17-footer. Here's Plumley, And good that time. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. Pass to LeBron. Fires from deep. Sinks the triple. LeBron's got five points in the quarter. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Now here's Booker. Back to bowl. 
Now Jones. For three, Booker. That's in. Coming off an assist from Jones. Jones has got three assists now in this one. Here's James. The three. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. And now he's starting to get it going. Four three-pointers in the game for him, and three have come in this half. Pass to Bull. Booker against Hachimura. Booker, no good. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. James kicks to Hachimura. LeBron against Allen. LeBron James again. James has got 18 points now here in the second half. How many times have we seen that? I mean, LeBron going right through and into the defense and finds a way to power through the contact as if he hasn't even been hit. And timeout is called by Mike Budenholzer. It's a chance for them to regroup and refocus. And the Lakers making a change here. Russell's checked in. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Now here's Allen, defended by Vincent. Nailed from three-point land. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Here's Vincent. Pass to LeBron. Vanderbilt with it. Now, here is Russell. Defended by Jones. Let's the three fly. And it's Russell missing. Suns trail by 13. Booker in the post. He's covered by Hachimura. Off with the layup. Right wing. Here's Vincent. Plumley with the rebound. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Wasted no time on that one. Booker's got seven points here in this quarter. And you can see how quick Booker is to react. No hesitation on that jump shot. Los Angeles leading by 11. James in the post. Get on Plumley And finished off by LeBron. Oh, taking it to the rack with power and hammering down the two-hand slam. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. Now here's Booker. <laughs> to the paint. Vanderbilt with the steal. Here we go, James. And oh, a big move by LeBron. Tell you what, just add that one to the highlight reel. James is truly one of the greatest slam dunkers of all time. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Now, Booker. At the top of the key, Plumley. Outside, Jones over Russell. Jones, no luck. And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for the Lakers. He shoots again. No good from LeBron. Suns trail by 15. Allen dishes the ball. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. What a move by Bull. Taking the foul but staying focused to finish the play. Phoenix making some changes. Yusuf Nurkic, he's checked in for Plum. Durant comes in for Devin Booker. And Bradley Beal subbed in for Allen. Now here's James. Oh, 
over Bull. Good on the 13-footer. James has got 33. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. Jones with the bounce pass. Outside, Beal. Nurkic setting the pick for Beal. To the inside, and stolen by LeBron. And here's the fast break. Russell leading the way. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Russell's got nine points here in the second half. You like what you have there. Russell crafty with the dribble. Phoenix has gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Russell against Jones. Here's KD. And it's Russell with the rebound. Russell's got his sixth rebound on the night. Wants to get it to Vincent and does. It's good. And the Lakers lead by 18. Well, six of their last 10 points coming off the fast break. The Suns have gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. Pass to Bull. And Jared Vanderbilt gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. And over the last few years, Clark, we have seen an explosion of talent from Canada. Tell you what, you go back to the mid-2000s, Steve Nash is winning those back-to-back -back MVPs. That's certainly part of it, but I really think a generation of players picked up the game, seeing guys like Steve Nash, and then the influx of great Canadian collegiate players going on to NBA success has certainly continued to uh, keep that pipeline going. Now, here's Nurkic, and Phoenix with another turnover here. And here is LeBron. Floats it up for Davis. Oh! Offensive rebound. Nice D from Durant. Suns trail by 20. Beal fires from way outside. And again, it's the Suns missing. The Lakers shooting in the fourth has been tremendous, 59%. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Jones checked in for Phoenix. Here's James. Pass to Reddish. And things seem to be getting tougher for the big spending teams, Clark, but we're seeing a lot of them go all in before the toughest penalties take effect. Yeah, you know, the frozen pick provision kicks in next season, and the season after that, luxury taxes ramp way up. Powerhouse teams trying to make hay while the sun shines is a pretty good strategic business move, but the landscape is certainly changing. LeBron can't get it to go. Phoenix has gone three or four from downtown here in the fourth. Here's Jones, and it's sent back by Russell. Well, I tell you what, his teammates love seeing this. So do I. I mean, when Russell was able to block a shot, that's a big bonus. Here's Russell. Pass to Reddish. And Reddish with the slam. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that combination of power and polish. Here's Booker. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's going to be on Cam Reddish. Such an active shooter. Love how Booker gets defenders to try and be physical with him. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Los Angeles leading by 15. Outside, James. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. Yeah, the defender all over. He got in good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. And both free throws good for LeBron. Phoenix with the ball. Booker outside. Outside, KD. 
And it's out of bounds, and they say it was last touched by Durant. That's a tough break there. If there has any hope of making a comeback, they have got to take better care of the ball. Pass to James. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. And Davis can't get it to go. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Sun. 17-point game. LeBron grabs the miss. James has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First one falls for him. That one falls, so he hits both of them. For Phoenix, they've gone 8 of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. Pass to Nurkic. Inside, it's stolen by Reddish. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. Here's Davis, and finished off by Davis. His ability to dominate games is what makes Anthony Davis a top-tier player. Suns trail by 21. And Beal kicks to Nurkic. Booker outside. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Regarding court layout, uh, Clark, do you think there should be more space around the court to reduce collisions? Yeah, part of me would say that makes a lot of sense and would be prudent. I mean, you've got to balance that with access to fans who want to be for those premium seats as close to the action as possible. Uh, but it is difficult when you see a fan collide with the players. Uh, so I think you balance it. I would like to see a little more room, give the fans the experience and access, but maybe create a little more cushion between the playing surface and those high price seats. And J.J. Reddick calls timeout here. He knows every possession is critical now. And now let's present our New Balance player of the game, LeBron James. And guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. And as the star of this team, he knows he's going to be the object of the crowd's anger. Loads it up for Davis. Durant with the steal. Booker outside. Pass to KD. Here's Jones. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Durant commands so much attention. Part of the reason why he had a wide open teammate there. Los Angeles leading by 17. Outside, James. Back to Reeves. Shot clock at six. Outside, Davis. From the arc, a three-pointer is right on target. Davis has got five points now this quarter. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. Yeah, I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock a bit timeout call the Suns they're behind by 20 Jones finds Beal three-pointer the shot misses good work defensively by Reeves LeBron up top, defended by Booker. That one falls. James has got 37. Hey, I really like what I'm seeing from LeBron here tonight, keeping it simple. He's going to the hot hand, which is him. That's pretty good. 141 left in the game. Here's Jones. Nurkic the pass to Booker. Phoenix no good that time either. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. 
Well, guys, this was never really a contest, just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Lakers. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And every win important. And this one will go down as win number three. And as we get set to put this one to bed, a one-sided season series thus far, they've won two straight. Yep, but two more to go before the end of the season. And they'll obviously be very confident heading into those two games. And one of the league's top talents, game in and game out. And doing it here again in this one. A terrific night for LeBron. Well, I thought he was their catalyst tonight, guys. Moving the rock, actively looking to set other guys up. Outstanding work. And the Suns with a completely new group on the floor. And Phoenix has possession. Now, here is Morris. Pass to Iguodaro. And that time, also a missed shot. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Well, you can't be forcing a shot like that. You got to keep the ball moving. Get something better. The shot's good from Vanderbilt. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. Incredible, incredible body control right there. Don't know how he was able to get that one to go, but it sure was a thing of beauty to watch. Allen, no good on the free throw. Fouling like that isn't how you get back in the game. Looked to me like just a frustration foul. It really kind of sums up the game they're having in general. And that one falls for Hachimura. Chimura hits them both. Jones finds Booker. A three-pointer off the mark. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Here with Anthony Davis. AD, what sparked the run down the stretch? Defense. We gave him too many points in that first half. Um, we came out in the second half with the defended. Able to finally make some shots, and we just grinded. Guys made big-time plays on the defensive end, and we were able to come out with a win. Thanks for your time, man. Appreciate it. Back to you. Thank you for that, David. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. And now, our player of the game, LeBron James.